I messed up, guys. Uh, type of only stuff that happens on a Monday. Let me tell y'all, show y'all how I did it. Just casually backing out of here. That right there. That awning. And it only flipped up like the last two tabs, so. I got some work cut out for me for this weekend, but that's how my Monday's starting. You ready to get to work, Jacob? Nah, nah, you know how to say Let's just get this going. So, it's running already. System's running already. What do you mean it's running? The condenser ain't running. What? Oh, the, it's probably, it's in a delay. It's in a, we just cut power onto it, so it's in a delay. Um, that's what I'm hoping at least for right now. That's what I'm just gonna say. This is a brand new, fresh construction build. We just put this filter grill in. Jacob just put the Nest thermostat on the wall. We calibrated it for the heat pump that it is. It's an ICP unit. The reversion valve is an O. We're trying to look for the remote for the mini split head. I hope the installers left it here and didn't end up having it thrown away, but we're gonna search everywhere in the house to try to find it. But let's look at the duck work real quick. Everything looking good to me. I don't have my label maker, so I just had to write our name on there. But yeah, could have been could have been a little bit better. But I love I love what the boys did with the trunk line, keeping it way up out the way. So the homeowners, um, I don't know exactly what they're gonna be using the second house for, <sighs> but they got a whole lot of space up here, thanks to the carpenter who put out this platform and this deck. All this space to use for storage and all of our duckway isn't in the way. Nobody's going to trip on it. Any work that people got to come back and do, you know, it'll be up out of the way. And we won't have to worry about it coming apart. So, let's see if we can figure out what the unit is doing. Just came out to see why it's not working. First thing you got to do is check and see if you got power. The first thing we should have is a fucking disconnect plug. That's cool. I wonder where it is. You know where it is? Let's think outside the box here. Where do you think it should? Where do you think it could be? Electricians. Since they want to switch my shit <laughs> to a fucking switch. Yeah, there was a disconnect here. The electricians for this job, if the camera will focus, um, the electricians had a regular disconnect here, and they wired it up for a 240. Um, and this mini split is a 115 volt. Uh, 115 volt type of system so if we wouldn't have caught that when we put the whip in initially when there was a regular disconnect here a pull stab um, it would have fried the unit but that was like I want to say like a week or two ago when we did that come back here today to put the filter in and the thermostat and now the whole disconnect switched to just a regular switch so let's see if we can find this right this pull stab so for now guys, we're just gonna go ahead and bypass the disconnect, um, wire nut it all together just so we can test this, verify that it's all working well. Um, I know it's not the thing that we're supposed to do, but in a situation like this, I mean, we're here to get to, the homeowner wanted us to do the startup and get the system working. So, I mean, we're gonna get the system working and test it and make sure it's all good from our end. Um, as far as our wiring and you know the pressures and everything make sure the system's all still full of refrigerant and that there is no no leaks or anything um, and we'll just tell the guy he's got to get the electricians that came here and messed this up to go ahead and correct their issue but for now we're just getting it done and making sure these people know that the HVAC side of stuff is is crisp now Jacob is it is it true per reports 
that uh, you used to work for the electricians that did this crappy job. Yep, we're not with them. <laughs> I ain't as stupid as them, thank the Lord. Uh, no. I don't know, man. It, that's weird, though. It wasn't like that. I mean, if they're stupid to turn the damn mini split into a switch, then they're stupid enough to take this damn shit out. Can't be. Can't be. Can't fault that, so. You got it all wired at it? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. We've had the thermostat calling for heat, so don't know what just happened there with the camera, but I heard it. Saw the lights flicker. Let's go out there and make sure it's blowing cold air out the top because it is in heat mode. Mama. Oh shoot, that was a stick. <laughs> yeah. I love having those things a little handy. I always try to keep one in my pocket. Let's go ahead and get the probes up in the duct, up in the vents. See exactly what the delta T is for just a heat. Uh, yeah. So I was able to uh, calibrate, not really calibrate it, but set this up, you know, for the heat pump and everything. But I, this is a different model nest than what I'm used to seeing. Um, and from what I've been able to read in the instructions, the only way to truly set when the heat strips will cut on and off um, for this system is through the app. And I don't, the homeowner's not in the other house right now. so. I'm gonna leave the instructions um, for him detail it in the invoice what he's got to do you know follow the, the directions and everything but as far as heat cool and running the alternative heat which for this is just a 5k W heat strips we have um, at the air handler everything is working fine so I've got it set to the heat and cool mode right now so that should handle everything while the, the workers are still installing the appliances and everything they really shouldn't have to touch the unit at all brand new filter in there so it should be fine but other than that jake get off your phone we gotta pack up go to the next one let's do it how many times have you tried to call the tenant three three <coughs> the garage door open and everything we out here, we can hear music in the backyard, yeah. B-Rad. B-Rabbit. No, B-Rad. Oh, B-Rad, not B-Rabbit. No, who the hell is B-Rabbit? B-Rabbit is what? Not Eminem. <laughs> that was Eminem and 8 Mile. Not B-Rabbit, it's just Rabbit. Same difference, fool. No. Same difference. <laughs> Bitch, Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? My That's bad. Well, I thought it was the back door. I thought it was my cousin <laughs> cutting the grass. <laughs> my bad. Oh, you're right. Heard the upstairs AC ain't working? Yeah, the upstairs one. Alright. I don't know, it's just. Okay. Alright, so we're up here in the attic. We use the thermostat downstairs, right right up under us, um, to. We set it to fan on to identify which of these two air handlers was the one we needed to work on. The thermostat's also set to cool reading, six, uh, reading 66. Oh wait, no, hold on. Is it reading 75, 76? It was, it was 66, it's reading 75. That's what it is? That's what I thought it read. No, hold on. Now I'm feeling stupid now that we on camera. Yeah. Go double check it. Say that again. Uh, set to 75, reading 66. Now I feel even more stupid. Go ahead, uh... Knock it down. We'll turn the fan from fan on to fan auto. Yeah. And then knock it down. I was just be moving too fast. I got the filter dryer up here. They had the flow switch. It doesn't go under 68. It doesn't go under 68? No. Alright, well it's the Honeywell T6 one, so you gotta hold the home button and the plus sign. Yeah, test. Put it in test mode, go to cool stage one. 
we'll go from there. But it looks like, like I was saying, they've got the float switch here. And the float switch is tied to R. So if the primary drain backs up, you know, through the P-trap and everything, it'll fill this up. It'll break R. However, if something else happens and the pan fills up with water, the pan switch breaks Y. I don't know why they didn't just tie all the safeties in with R, but I, I mean, that's whatever. The safeties will still end up stopping the system from making some kind of mess. All right, so we're out here. None of the condensers. What the fuck? What, is, what are these? I have never seen something like that. Somebody on YouTube, tell me what these are. Tell, tell me what those are. Why are they? Looks like they're wired into the system. One's tripped. One's tripped? Yeah. Hold on. And of course it wouldn't tell us, of course nothing's labeled. Um, all right, go, go inside, yeah, go inside, cut the bottom, the downstairs system off. If you gotta cut it to test mode as well, cut it to test mode. These both, that's a 2013. That one's a 2013. Let's wait and see. Which one of these kicks on? So, this one's the downstairs. Which leaves this one to be the upstairs. It's got some major heat damage. And rusting appearing on the condenser fan motor. But since that breaker's tripped, we're going to go ahead and kick this to off. Oh my god, that thing is stuck on there. We gotta take the panel off. We're gonna start checking everything, mainly the compressor, and see what's wrong. All right, don't need, don't need to use a clamp meter. We ain't gonna clamp nothing. What we want you to do first is remove the two, the black wire right here and the red wire right there, because I know those are for the compressor. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your meter to continuity. You're gonna touch your probes together, get the beat. All right, now touch one of those with the meter, one of those to ground. If you should be able to push it, yeah. Oh, that's going to be tight. All right, so that one's fine. That one's fine. Possibly. You just lost your dang probe. <laughs> We still got one more wire to take off for that thing. And it's going to be the compressor for the capacitor, the hermetic terminal. I bet. It's gonna be that purple wire. Nope. Yeah, yeah, purple wire. So that's on the three prong. No nothing? All right, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now we're gonna take the top off and check directly at the compressor. Hold the camera, kinda like right there. At the compressor, nothing there to ground, nothing there to ground, and on the common, nothing there to ground. So now I'm gonna check all the terminals. One to set. Oh, 1.7. Give me something steady here. One point, we're gonna say 1.5, so 1.7 and 1.5 should be like 3.2. 3.2. Golly, also keep the prongs on there. I saw it read 3.2, so I'm gonna say this is fine. From we checked the wiring, there's no rub outs on the inside of here, so as 
far as high voltage goes going to the compressor nothing should have caused that problem here so I can now put the plug back on we verify that the compressor is okay we can put this back together next thing we'll check is that old looking capacitor in there all right so Jacob's got the 45.5 in his hand you can see what it's reading That's on the compressor term. Yeah, it's on Hermetic. And that's on fan. So it is dead on the compressor side, reading like 0.3. You said, what it is it? 45.5. 45.5. 40 plus 5. You almost made me get the wrong one. So we got the old 40 plus 5 in here. New 40 plus 5 secured as best we could with the limited amount of space in here with the band iron. Um, you put the compressor wires back on the contact. The red and the black. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's get some of this stuff off of here, so we don't mess up nobody's meter again. Uh, grab an screw. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab your grab your meter and put it on amps. And we're gonna try to take. We're gonna do an inrush on the. Yeah, on the black one. Hit the select button. And hit inrush. Alright, so now it's waiting. Oh, gotta clamp that. It's on the wire still. There you go. Fire in the hole. Yep. 75.47. Alright, hold on. I gotta take a picture of this for the invoice. So now, with the new capacitor on there, 5.8 about 5.9 you estimate it and oh damn something trying to call on me uh, RLA 12.8 LRA 58.3 but the max the inrush right there is like 70 something so we may I'm probably going to you know recommend a, a hard start relay to uh, keep this going for them just a little bit longer I mean we got the customer back up and going right now um, I'm gonna check my probes for the Delta T here soon I'm not even gonna bother hooking up the gauges unless I see something wrong with the Delta T but it is like uh, happy happy it's not a bad compressor not any other high voltage issues just seemed to be a bad capacitor that finally just let the compressor just trip. 69 coming into the pool, coming out of the pool about 80. And it is pushing like, I'll put a screenshot right here, out the uh, Delta T indoor of about 12. Um, but it is increasing as it's running. So I think it's really just the fact that it's like 68 degrees out here, 69. And then it's like 66 already in the house. I don't want to go ahead and just try to dump refrigerant in here. I'd rather just wait until they can they they run it on a hot day and let me see exactly where I've got to you know dial in the charge to get these people going. But other than that, the boss man just called us. We're gonna go ahead and clean up. Go have some Chinese buffet. Catch y'all in a minute. Oh, that was the end of my day. Um, had to go back and check up on a system. On a service call that we went to Friday, but couldn't really do anything because the tenant wouldn't open the door for us. Um, if you stuck around to this point, I appreciate it. I know it's been quite been a few days since my last upload. I want to say probably maybe like a week. Um, it was such a slack week last week. I kind of just took a break from recording. Um, with the masters starting today. Um, business should pick up a little bit so hopefully I'll be able to have a lot more content for you guys but I'm also going to try to get on a, like a regular schedule for it probably like Monday Wednesday Friday I'm gonna try it and see how that works but other than that I appreciate you guys for watching the video again like comment subscribe I try to interact with every single one of you guys um, the the sarcastic comments the serious ones, the guy, the techs who are actually are giving me like real solid advice. You know, I, I conversate with everybody. I enjoy it. It's hilarious. So 
keep it up and i'll see you guys on the next one peace